Hello, and greetings from London. I would like to thank you all so very much for this wonderful award, and apologise for not being able to join you in Orlando to pick it up in person. Looking at the past recipients of this award, from Bonnie Maranka to Janelle Reynolds, I feel very honoured to be part of such company. Editing is one of those invisible labours which is rarely recognised as a scholarly activity, and yet it is key to thinking about what we publish and why. A way of really shaping how our discipline develops and what matters to us as scholars and practitioners. It's about being both reactive and proactive. And crucially, it's about teamwork. You're only as good as the people you work with. And I have been hugely privileged to work with many generous and inspired collaborators. I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the editorial teams and co-editors I've worked with at Manchester University Press, Cambridge University Press and Taylor and & Francis, and my colleagues at Contemporary Theatre Review. To the editors of Theatre Forum and Western European Stages for inviting me to work with them, and to all the editors I've been fortunate enough to collaborate with on the collections that I've contributed to. Thanks are also due to my departmental colleagues at Queen Mary, University of London. Editing is really about ongoing conversations and there are many of you in this room that have been part of the dialogues, discussions and debates that make up the very DNA of editing. I'm currently working on a project about editing with Professor Joanne Tompkins of the University of Queensland, the new co-editor of Theatre Journal, so it seems particularly fitting that she has kindly agreed to pick up this award on my behalf. Thank you Joanne and thank you Atthi.